nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, ignition, and lift off. Six dash one. Vehicles pitching down range. Stage one, chamber pressure is no. If you're just joining us, we are T plus 30 seconds into our mission today, and Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Space Launch Complex 40 at 6.13 p.m. Eastern Time. Power telemetry is nominal. Falcon 9 is supersonic. With that call out, we hear that Falcon 9 is traveling faster than the speed of sound, around 770 miles per hour. Max Q. Max Q is the period of maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle that it will experience during flight due to the forces of thrust, gravity, and atmospheric pressure. So we're just about one minute away from several events happening in quick succession. These are gonna be main engine cutoff, stage separation, second engine start one, and fairing separation. Main engine cutoff is when all nine of the Merlin engines on the first stage shut down. Stage separation will be when the first and second stages separate from each other prior to first stage re-entry. And second engine start one is when we light the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage. Shortly after that, fairing separation, we'll see both fairing halves separate from each other, then fall away from the second stage and return to Earth for recovery. Incredible views of the Earth behind Falcon 9 on your screen now. State separation confirmed. And back ignition. So we just heard confirmation for successful main engine cutoff, stage separation, and second engine start one, which you can see on your screen now. Coming up in just about 20 seconds, the fairing halves will separate from the second stage and fall back to Earth. Bearing separation confirmed. So there you saw and hopefully also heard fairing half separation. As a reminder, both of the fairing halves flying on today's mission are flight proven as well. Both are flying for the second time and our booster for its third. We will attempt to recover the fairing halves again today using our recovery vessel, Doug. Currently, the first stage is on its way back to Earth towards our drone ship, a shortfall of Gravitas, on the left-hand side of your screen, and our MVAC engine has been lit up on the second stage. If you're just joining us, today's mission is a SpaceX Starlink mission. And as most of you know, Starlink is a constellation of satellites in low Earth orbit, designed and manufactured by SpaceX to provide high-speed, low-latency internet to people living in remote and rural locations signal, Bermuda. around the globe. We're currently live in 49 countries and 61 markets around the world. As I mentioned earlier, we've recently went live in Rwanda.
You can see on the stage two telemetry that stage two continues to pick up speed on its way to space. And of course, stage one is on its way back home. Great views of the grid fins as stage one makes its way back to our drone ship, a short fall of Gravitas. Both vehicles are following nominal trajectories. The next milestone we're looking for is going to be stage one entry burn startup. Stage one, also known as the booster, will ignite three engines to slow it down for atmospheric reentry. Stage one FTS is saved. Stage one entry burn startup. As a reminder, the first stage on your screen right now, being used to launch 21 Starlink satellites into space, is flying for its third time. Stage one entry burn shutdown. That's confirmation of entry burn shutdown on the first stage, which is the first of two burns the booster will complete during this return. Stage two FTS is saved. Stage two continuing on its way to space with 21 Starlink satellites on board. Expected loss of signal, Cape Canaveral. Stage one transonic. You just heard the call out that the first stage is transonic, which means it is traveling near the speed of sound as it returns to Earth. In just about 20 seconds, we should be coming up on the landing burn for the first stage. Terminal guidance. Stage one landing burn. Stage one has lit one engine to prepare for landing on our drone ship, a short fall of Gravitas. This final burn slows down the rocket to help it stick the landing on the drone ship. Stage one landing leg deploy. Great feedback from our team there, and of course, beautiful views confirming that we have successfully landed stage one. Seco one. Nominal or parking orbit insertion. Falcon 9 has successfully landed on our drone ship a short fall of Gravitas, marking our 174th landing of an orbital class rocket. And shortly after first stage landing, we also heard successful shutdown of our MVAC engine and good orbital insertion for those 21 Starlink satellites. <laughs> 